Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has issued Decree 101 of 2019, pardoning 269 inmates who were convicted in court cases. Public Prosecutor Dr. Ali bin Fadl Al Bu'inin announced that a group of 530 inmates. Public Prosecutor Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bu'inin announced that a group of 530 inmates who served half of their jail terms have been released from rehabilitation and reform centers after replacing their remaining sentences with non custodial penalties. The move follows directives issued by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to expand the enforcement of the law on alternative penalties and heed the inmates' personal and family condition, taking into account humanitarian considerations. Dr. Al Bainin said that the public prosecution studied the inmates' cases, which were referred by the Interior Ministry's Law Enforcement Directorate, and found them eligible to benefit from the law on the alternative penalties. The execution judge then issued a right of execution to replace the remaining jail terms with alternative penalties that include mandatory community service, rehabilitation programs, and training, in addition to a ban on entering designated places. The public prosecutor pointed out that 1,116 inmates had already benefited from non-custodial penalties ever since they took effect. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the Kingdom's celebration of the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member, and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. He he praised Bahrain's steady march of development, progress and prosperity in all fields to achieve the aspirations of the loyal people of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He commended Bahrain's wide-ranging achievements in all fields and praised His Majesty's visions, wishing him abundant health and success for the sake of the kingdom and its loyal people. His Majesty the King expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier for his noble feelings and loaded his role and dedicated efforts to consolidate the blessed national march, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the of the Martyrs' Day. Her Royal Highness praised the national development and achievements of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. She also noted the support provided to Bahraini women by His Majesty the King, putting her on the forefront as the main pillar for development of the kingdom and a source of community stability. She expressed pride on behalf of all Bahraini women for the keen efforts exerted by His Majesty the King for the development and prosperity of the kingdom. Her Royal Highness wished His Majesty abundant health health and happiness. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks to Her Royal Highness loading her efforts in leading Bahraini women and their contributions in the kingdom's development and the achievements that people of Bahrain aspire for. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhay Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan, upon his official visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed the Prime Minister and his visit to the Kingdom, where the Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the National Day, wishing the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. 
His Majesty then greeted the Pakistani Prime Ministers, a company delegation, and the Pakistani Prime Minister greeted senior Bahraini officials. held a meeting with the Pakistani Prime Minister where they discussed the course of historic relations and ways of enhancing bilateral cooperation in various fields. His Majesty expressed aspiration that this visit will contribute to developing relations, joint work and strong partnership to achieve the interests of the two countries and two brotherly peoples. His Majesty the King commended the efforts of the Prime Minister and his role in supporting mutual coordination and consolidating the distinguished ties that link Bahrain in Pakistan. Prime Minister of Pakistan expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and his confidence that this Your visit Majesty, will King achieve good results in developing bilateral relations. Your Excellency Mr. Amran Khan, Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Your Excellency's distinguished guests. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan enjoy deep and long-standing brotherly relations with our two countries working together closely in a wide and growing range of areas. As part of our shared desire to further develop and expand these bilateral ties, it is Bahrain's pleasure to welcome this historic visit by His Excellency Prime Minister Imran Khan and his accompanying delegation. The auspicious visit of His Majesty the King to Pakistan in 2014 and this visit by His Excellency the Prime Minister are indeed important milestones in strengthening the friendship and cooperation between the two countries and their people. Under the leadership of His Excellency the Prime Minister Amran Khan, Pakistan has continued its impressive progress across so many different areas, setting a model from which others can learn in their own development process. Such a success would not have been possible without the Pakistan government's wide policies and indeed the Prime Minister's personal commitment and determination to improve the lives of all his fellow citizens and to further enhance his country's contributions to peace and prosperity across the world. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to stand by its brothers in Pakistan as we work together to deepen our cooperation and foster further growth and development. And within the context of these friendly ties, His Majesty Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa has directed that His Excellency Prime Minister Imran Khan should be honored with the Order of Bahrain First Class in recognition of his remarkable leadership and outstanding achievements.
The two sides praised the development of Bahraini-Pakistani relations and stressed the importance of continuing the work to enhance cooperation, especially in the commercial, economic, investment, defense and scientific fields, and to benefit, and to benefit from the experiences and capabilities of the two countries to serve their mutual interests. His Majesty hailed the honorable stances of Pakistan towards the kingdom, which reflect the ties between the two countries. He noted its important role in defending Islamic causes and its positive contributions to the international community in enhancing the pillars of security, peace and regional and global stability. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the contributions of the Pakistani community and their efforts in the process of development in the kingdom. For his part, the Pakistani Prime Minister expressed pride in His Majesty's efforts to develop Bahraini-Pakistani relations and ensuring their prosperity, praising the comprehensive achievement and promising development in the kingdom led by His Majesty the King and the community's distinguished values of tolerance, coexistence and openness to various cultures which contributed to the kingdom's progress and the development of its people. During the meeting, the two sides exchanged views on regional and international developments, including topics of mutual interest. They affirmed their stances in support of Arab and Islamic nation issues and all regional and international efforts aimed at establishing security and stability in the region and the world. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also patronized at Sakhay Palace a celebration on the occasion of National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member, and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad. Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Omran Khan. Upon the arrival of His Majesty, the artillery fired 21 shots, welcoming His Majesty the King. Assalam, <laughs> Sayyidi, Hadrat Sahab al Jalala. الملك المفدى سلام قف الشرف كتفا سلا السادة جلالتكم بانصراف حرس الشرف سي حرس الشرف يتقدم بهذا الاستعراض بنظام الفصائل معتدى
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه معالي دولة السيد عمران خان رئيس وزراء جمهورية باكستان الصديقة أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها السيدات والسادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وكل عام وأنتم بخير والبحرين في عزة ورفعة وتقدم في ظل قيادة مليكنا المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه خير ما نبدأ به حفلنا هذا تلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على مسامعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين آمنوا وهاجروا وجاهدوا بأموالهم وأنفسهم في سبيل الله والذين آووا ونصروا أولئك بعضهم أولياء بعض والذين آمنوا ولم يهاجروا ما لكم من ولايتهم من شيء حتى يهاجروا وإن استنصروكم في الدين فعليكم النصر إلا على قوم بينكم وبينهم ميثاق والله بما تعملون بصير والذين كفروا بعضهم أولياء بعض إلا تفعلوه تكون فتنة في الأرض وفساد كبير والذين آمنوا وهاجروا وجاهدوا في سبيل الله والذين آووا ونصروا أولئك هم المؤمنون حقا لهم مغفرة ورزق كريم والذين آمنوا من بعد وهاجروا وجاهدوا معكم فأولئك منكم وأولو الأرحام بعضهم أولى ببعض في كتاب الله إن الله بكل شيء عليم صدق الله العظيم Following the royal anthem and recitations of verses from the Holy Quran His Majesty the King delivered the following speech بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ضيفنا الموقر معالي السيد عمران أحمد خان رئيس وزراء باكستان الشقيقة أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسعدنا في هذه المناسبة الوطنية العزيزة على قلوبنا وبما تحمله من معاني وعبر تجسد قيم الولاء والانتماء في أرقى صوره أن نهنئ الجميع بقدومها فهي من أجمل أيام الوطن الذي نحرص فيه وبمعية شعبنا العزيز على تجديد عهود الواجب الوطني لحمل أمانته 
وصون منجزاته ورفعة شأنه كما تحل علينا هذه المناسبة العطرة والبحرين تزهو بتأسيسها المدني وبناءها الحداثي وبإنجازاتها العريقة في كافة المجالات التنموية التي تعود بالزمن لتلك الانطلاقة العريقة على يد مؤسس الدولة البحرينية قبل أكثر من قرنين فهم من مهدوا درب نهضتنا الوطنية فسار عليه أهالينا الكرام بعزم الأوفياء وبتضحياتهم الجسام فأصبح الوطن حرا شامخا سيدا لقراراته ومستقلا بإرادته وإنها لمناسبة طيبة بأن يشاركنا أفراحنا الوطنية ضيفنا وأخينا العزيز السيد عمران خان مقدرين له كريم زيارته ومرحبين به أجمل ترحيب فلباكستان وشعبها مكانة كبيرة لدينا وسنعمل معا بإذن الله على تقوية تلك العلاقات الرحبة بما يحفظ مصالحنا المشتركة ويوحد جهودنا لخير العالم من حولنا الحضور الكريم وفي قمرة هذه المشاعر الفياضة بحب البحرين والاعتزاز بمكانتها الرفيعة في نفوسنا فأنه لا يسعدنا أن نتوقف بالفخر والتقدير أمام إسهامات نخبة من الكفاءات الوطنية وأن نخصهم بالشكر والتكريم لجهودهم المتميزة في خدمة الوطن وختاما نسأل الله أن يجعل أيام البحرين كلها عيدا وطنيا يتجدد بالعطاء المخلص لشعبنا الوفي إنه سميع مجيب الدعاء والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty then distributed the medals of appreciation on the honorees. Al Amid al Rukn Muhammad Abdul Latif Fahad bin Jalal, Power of the Bahrain, Al Ittihad al Askari al Riyadi, Wisam al Kafaa, from the first degree. الرائد الركن خالد بن خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة قوة دفاع البحرين الكتيبة الخاصة 83 وسام الكفاءة من الدرجة الأولى الوكيل أول محمد محمد عبد اللطيف فهد جلال بي دي اف ميجر خالد بن خليفة بن خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة from the بي دي اف من الدرجة الثانية First Under Secretary Muhammad Abdullah Ismail Hakim from the BDF, Colonel Talal Isa Khalid Al Musallam, National Guard. First Under Secretary Isa Muhammad Ibrahim Bukamal, National Guard. Brigadier Hamad bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Ministry of Interior. Corporal Jafar Zayed Ali, Ministry of Interior. Ambassador Salah Ali Hassan Al Maliki, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Ambassador Muhammad Ibrahim Muhammad Abdul Qadir, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Hussein Ali Al Shami, Ministry of Labor and Social Development. Engineer Muna Sayyid Ali Al Hashimi, Supreme Council for Women. Muhammad Abdullah Al Sheikh, Constitutional Court, Dr. Ali Hassan Fulad, Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Abdul Rahman Jasim Fakhru on his behalf, Marwan Abdul Rahman Fakhru, Ministry of Parliament Affairs, Dr. Khalid Muhammad Abdullah Taqi Iskan, Bank, Dr. Muhammad Ali Bahzad, Bahrain Tender Board, Dr. Abdul Ghani Saleh Al Shweikh, Ministry of Education, Nani Muhammad Buti.
Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, Sami Muhammad Hamid, Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Mubarak Nabil Matar, Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Dr. Ashwaq Ali Hassani, Ministry of Health, Dr. Iman Ahmed Abdullah Hijji, Ministry of Health, Engineer Asma Jasim Murad, Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Yunus Salman Hassan, Ministry of Information Affairs, Engineer Hani Salman Al Najjar, Ministry of Electricity and Motor Affairs, Professor Muhammad Abdul Rahim Bushiri, Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Dawad Yusuf Abdul Wahab Al Hawaj, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Yusuf Isa Ahmed Bubshit, Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Muhammad Abdullah Zainal, Ministry of Communications and Telecommunications, Sheikh Muhammad bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, National Audit Office of Under Secretary for Administrative Auditing, Tawfiq Al Sayyid Sharaf Al Alawi, on his behalf, Khalid Tawfiq Al Alawi. General Manager of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Jasim Isa Al Shirawi, Director General of Oil and Gas Affairs at the National Oil and Gas Authority. Abdullah Ghuloum Al Bastigi, General Director of Field Operations at Tatweer Petroleum Company. Ahmed Abdullah Ahmed Al Sa'i, Royal Court. Malcolm Andrew James Dave, Board Member of Durrat Al Bahrain. Then Dr. Iman Ahmed Abdullah Hajji delivered a speech on behalf of the honorees in which she expressed pleasure in meeting His Majesty the King on this pleasant occasion. She stated that His Majesty's honoring of distinguished Bahraini citizens is an incentive for all to increase their competency and performance. She highlighted the celebrations held in private institutions and the citizens' joy on the occasion. Dr. Iman stated that His Majesty's patronage of citizens and development of their abilities is a true motivation for the achievements made in scientific, professional and sports fields, noting the contributions of the military and civil community to the development of the kingdom. She expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, wishing him many happy returns. <laughs> السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي صاحب الجلالة إنه لمن دواع الفخر والاعتزاز أن نتشرف بالوقوف بين يدي جلالتكم في هذا اليوم المجيد يوم ذكرى العيد الوطني لمملكة البحرين والذكرى العشرون لتولي جلالتكم مقاليد الحكم لحظة من أعز لحظات حياتنا وحياة الوطن فلقاء جلالتكم تكريم وتكريمكم شرف عظيم يتطلع إليه جميع أبناء هذا الوطن وثقتكم الغالية أمانة في أعناقنا لبذل المزيد من أجل مملكة البحرين سيدي صاحب الجلالة إن عهدكم الميمون حافل بالإنجازات العظيمة وأنما سنيتموه من عادة تكريم أبناء الوطن المتميزين في كل عام لهو نبراس يقتدي به الجميع ودافع لأبناء الوطن لمواصلة مسيرة التنمية والتميز لنيل شرف الحصول على هذا التكريم إن عناية جلالتكم الكريمة بهذه الكوكبة من أبناء الوطن من عسكريين ومدنيين ورعايتهم ودعمهم لهي الدافع الحقيقي خلف ما نراه اليوم من إنجازات ونجاحات غير مسبوقة في مختلف المجالات العلمية والعملية والرياضية وعلى كافة المستويات المحلية والإقليمية والدولية ذلك لتحقيق نظرتكم الثاقبة لحاضر ومستقبل هذا الوطن وجني ثمار غرسكم المبارك الذي رسختم فيه روح العطاء والتفاني لخدمة الوطن مليكنا المفدى تقف كلمات الشكر عاجزة عن وصف مشاعرنا تجاه هذا التكريم العظيم في هذه المناسبة العطرة ختاما أرفع إلى مقام جلالتكم السامي بالأصالة عن نفسي وبالنيابة عن جميع المكرمين أسماء آيات الشكر والتقدير والامتنان 
مهنئين جلالتكم بهذه المناسبة الميمونة أعادها الله على جلالتكم سنين عديدة باليمن والبركات حفظكم الله قائداً وبانياً لنهضة الوطن وأدامكم ذخراً للبلاد حفظ الله البحرين بكم وحفظكم للبحرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته At the end of the ceremony, His Majesty greeted the attendees who congratulated him on the occasion and wished him many happy returns. and the people of Bahrain on this all these happy occasions for the National Day. Uh, Bahrain has achieved a lot during this year in the field of economy, health and uh, um, sports. In the field of health there is a lot of changes coming up. There is a huge uh, development for the whole healthcare system with the implementation of the social health insurance and improving the regulation to encourage um, the investment in uh, medical tourism. I think this uh, event is important because every year 16th of December marks the day we celebrate all the success that we have achieved throughout the year. This year it has been a very beautiful year. We have achieved a lot. Uh, we have um, been uh, active on the international level and uh, to celebrate this day is very special to our heart. Um, my greetings goes to His Highness, the Maj uh, His Majesty the King for his support, embracing all his people all the time. His his Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Princess Sabika for everything she has done to empower women and for the women advancement this year. I would like to extend my congratulations to the Majesty uh, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on uh, this occasion, the, the very special occasion, the National uh, Day of Bahrain and we are, we are really proud and happy and thankful to be part of this. It's a great honor to receive this uh, medal from His Majesty. It's a great honor to be part of the, those who have been granted this honor. Uh, it's uh, from His Majesty. I would like to uh, thank His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in this, in, in this national day. And I would like to uh, send my gratitude to him and, uh, by receiving this award and this national day. And I hope this will be also uh, a way to extend more services to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, upon his arrival to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness welcomed the official visit of the Prime Minister and affirmed the strong ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister then departed to Qudaybiyah Palace to begin an official round of discussions. An accompanying mission led by the Deputy Prime Minister Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa was formed to accompany the Prime Minister during his visit to the Kingdom. A number of senior officials were also at the airport to receive the Prime Minister.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held an official round of discussions with the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Imran Khan at Qudaybiyah Palace. Upon arrival at Qudaybiyah Palace, a formal reception ceremony took place to greet the Prime Minister of Pakistan and both countries' national anthems were played. His Royal Highness and the Prime Minister of Pakistan were then greeted by ministers and officials from both countries. وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام قف حرس الشرف جهاز التفتيش سيد
His Royal Highness welcomed the Prime Minister as he affirmed the strong ties between Bahrain and Pakistan across all fields, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that this visit will contribute further to the strengthening of bilateral relations and help identify new opportunities of cooperation to the benefit of both countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness went on to commend the role of the Pakistani community in Bahrain, whose contribution to the kingdom's development is much appreciated. He also commended the advancement of these bilateral exchanges, reflected by the various official visits which have taken place by the representatives from both countries. These visits have resulted in higher levels of trade and investment between the two countries, as well as the signing of mutually beneficial agreements. On this subject, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted Bahrain's commitment to expanding its relations with Asian countries, consolidating strategic partnerships, and strengthening coordination in order to achieve security, stability, and prosperity across the region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister then witnessed the signing of three memorandums of understanding. First, a memorandum of understanding for cooperation in the field of education. Second, a memorandum of understanding for cooperation in the fields of youth and sports affairs. Third, a memorandum of understanding for cooperation in the fields of medical sciences. The MOUs were signed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Suhail Mahmoud. After the signing ceremony, the Prime Minister expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and highlighted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's unwavering commitment to strengthening Bahraini-Pakistani ties. After the round of official discussions, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the Prime Minister, which was attended by a number of senior government officials and dignitaries.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then bid farewell the Prime Minister of Pakistan after an official visit where he met with His Majesty the King. The visit also included discussion sessions with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in addition to the signing of a number of agreements. The Prime Minister was also seen off by a number of their Highnesses and senior officials. At the invitation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, paid an official visit to Bahrain. The Prime Minister was accompanied by a high level delegation. His Majesty the King received the Prime Minister of Pakistan and conferred on the Prime Minister the Bahrain Order First Class in recognition of his remarkable leadership, outstanding achievements, and contribution to further strengthening relations between the two countries. The Prime Minister of Pakistan held talks with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince at Qurabiya Palace. The Crown Prince also hosted a banquet in honor of the Prime Minister. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the contribution made by the Pakistani expatriate community towards Bahrain's progress and economic development. The Prime Minister of Pakistan conveyed his deep appreciation to Bahrain for hosting a large number of Pakistani citizens and expressed hope that Bahrain will continue to employ more Pakistanis across various sectors of the economy. The following documents were signed during the visit. An MOU on education, higher education on scientific research, an MOU on medical sciences, an MOU on cooperation, youth affairs and sports. In light of the existing close ties between the two countries, a wide range of cons constructive discussions were held, which focused on bilateral, regional and multilateral issues of common interest, with a view to further broadening and deepening bilateral engagement across all mutually beneficial fields. The leaders underscored the importance of further promoting political and economic relations, strengthening cooperation in the fields of public health, energy, education, agriculture, culture and tourism. The two sides welcomed the regular exchange of high-level visits during recent years and recalled the successful state visit of His Majesty to Pakistan on the 18th to the 20th of March 2014. The two sides noted that this visit laid a strong foundation to build a closer partnership between the two countries and agreed to further follow up on the implementation of the agreements and MOUs signed during the visit. The Prime Minister of Pakistan conveyed his deep appreciation on behalf of the people of Pakistan for the royal gesture to establish King Hamad Nursing, an associated medical science university in Pakistan, and agreed to operationalize the university at the earliest possible. Both sides underlined the importance of continuing regular consultations to the existing institutional mechanisms and agreed to hold the second meeting of the Bahrain-Pakistan Joint Ministerial Commission in Manama in the first quarter of 2020. The two sides welcomed the recent signing of an agreement on military cooperation, which will further increase the sharing of information, intelligence and assessments. Both sides denounced terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, including state terrorism, and reaffirmed their desire to strengthen cooperation at both a bilateral and multilateral level in the fight against terrorism and the financing of terrorism, combating transitional organized crime, combating narcotics, 
and enhancing cybersecurity cooperation. Expressing satisfaction regarding the growing economic cooperation between the two countries, both sides recognized the potential for greater trade and commercial exchanges and agreed to take all necessary steps to increase the volume of bilateral trade. In light of the significant role played by investors, the two sides committed to providing favorable environments for investors from both countries and emphasized the need for a regular and timely exchange of information on available investment opportunities. Recognizing the enormous growth potential of both econ economies, the Pakistani side encouraged Bahraini investors to take advantage of the favorable investment environment and consider investing in areas of high potential, including infrastructure development, energy, tourism, industry, food, processing and services sector. Additionally, the Pakistani side recognized Bahrain as an ideal gateway to GCC markets. The two sides exchanged views on regional and international issues of mutual interest, including the security situation in West Asia and South Asia. Both sides reiterated the importance of striving towards peaceful resolutions of all disputes in light of international legitimacy and relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Acknowledging the immense commercial potential between Pakistan and GCC countries, Bahrain reiterated its support and commitment to further strengthening cooperation through the preparation of a joint action plan for the strategic dialogue between the GCC and Pakistan, as well as the finalization of the Pakistani GCC Free Trade Agreement. The Prime Minister of Pakistan thanked His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for the warm welcome and generous hospitality extended to him and his delegation. He extended invitations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to visit Pakistan. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, praised the royal speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa during his patronage of the National Day celebrations. She affirmed that the royal speech reflects the prosperity of the kingdom under His Majesty's leadership and the reform project. Zainal praised the achievements of the people of Bahrain and their role and contributions to the forward march of the kingdom that raised the status of the kingdom on a global level and achieve advancements across all sectors as well as enhancing the national gains. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquity, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, to open an exhibition on the Jurassic Age, which was organized by the Museum of Natural History from London and supported by the British Council at the Bahrain National Museum. This event took place as part of Bahrain's celebrations of its National Day, as well as the anniversary of establishing the Bahrain National Museum, which also took place in conjunction with the authorities' event, entitled From One Jubilee to Another. The opening event was attended by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed Al Mutawa, and the Capital Governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, along with a number of officials and invitees. Sheikh Hamay said that the exhibition affirms that cultural work is the bridge that connects different people. She affirmed that the authority is keen on establishing partnerships with the cultural establishments across the world and to affirm Bahrain's place as a cultural center in the region and the world. Sheikh Hamay appreciated the role of the British Council, which is playing in Bahrain, and thanked the Natural History Museum in London for allowing people in Bahrain to experience some of its work. The Bahraini parliamentary delegation, while in Turkey and Talia, to participate in the meeting of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, celebrated the National Day. A number of Asian parliamentary delegations participated in this ceremony and offered their sincere congratulations to the Bahraini delegation on this national occasion. The head of the delegation, MP Ahmed Sabah Al Saloum, and the participating delegation extended their sincere congratulations to the Bahraini leadership and people, expressing their appreciation for the care kind sentiments expressed by the parliamentary delegations. 
The Asian Parliamentary Association has announced in its General Assembly held in Antalya, Turkey, nominating Bahrain as represented by the Bahraini Parliamentary Delegation to the post of the Deputy Chairman of the APA and the head of the Finance and Economic Affairs Committee. The nomination comes as a reflection of the successes achieved by Bahrain's parliamentary diplomacy regionally and internationally, setting the kingdom as a pioneering model. Bahrain's MP Ahmed Sabah Al Saloum will occupy both positions. The Kingdom of Bahrain reiterates its firm position towards the security and stability of Egypt, reaffirming its support for the continued efforts of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to achieve development and prosperity for the Egyptian people and defend Arab national security, as well as reinforce regional stability. The Kingdom of Bahrain stresses its support for the efforts and measures taken by Egypt in the brotherly state of Libya to defend its security and integrity in a way that fulfills the aspirations of the Libyan people for progress and eliminates all forms of violence, extremism and terrorism. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country by its founder Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783, the anniversary of its accession to the United Nations as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa's accession to the throne. The National Day celebrations come in light of the achievements and gains made for the benefit of the homeland and its citizens in all fields, in line with the National March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the continuous efforts of Bahrainis. The ambassador of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a reception at Kensington Palace on the occasion of the Kingdom's National Day. The ceremony was attended by a number of representatives and ministers in the British government and officials at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in addition to the ambassadors and members of the diplomatic corps accredited to the United Kingdom, media professionals, academics, and Bahraini citizens living and working in the United Kingdom. The ambassador highlighted the historic relations between the two friendly countries that extend for more than 200 years as a result of the close ties between the royal families of both kingdoms. In this regard, he noted the meetings held this year between the officials of both countries. He hailed the kingdom's outstanding achievements in all fields in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also stressed that Bahrain is keen on further strengthening cooperation with the United Kingdom in various areas. The ambassador affirmed that in addition to cooperation in the fields of security and politics, the economic side also comes as a basic pillar in supporting relations between the two countries, reflected in the increase of trade exchanged between them. By expressing my congratulations to His Majesty, the people of Bahrain, and to the team following Sunday's historic victory in winning the Gulf Cup football tournament. <laughs> For the first time in 50 years as GCC football champions, as a keen sports fan and as a proud Bahraini, I am truly thrilled by this achievement, which undermines the value of unity and teamwork in, an, in, in enabling Bahrain to compete with the very best in the region and beyond. And tonight, I was particularly pleased that so many of you could join us in those impressive surroundings at Kensington Palace, which is particularly fitting venue given the close links between our two royal families.